Her question is about not about record and record. Your your rec your voice your question is about a different word? Yes. Okay, so compound. 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 For example, we talked about different buildings that belong to the same organization. So we can say this company, this company has a big compound or a military compound or the gorilla compound. It means a group of buildings. Or in grammar we talk about Noun compounds. We put two nouns together, and that's it. We talk about chemical compounds in chemistry. So those are chemistry compounds. So we have different kinds of compounds. So compounds means two or more things, two or more elements that are joined together and become one. So a noun compound, as we're practicing in this lesson, we're learning about the stress and intonation patterns of noun compounds. So we have the sound compound with the sound on the, the stress on the first syllable, compound. That's a noun. If we say this as a verb, we, we, we say there are many problems that have compounded my problem. So many issues have compounded. So if we don't stress the first syllable, we don't need to release a big puff of air on the first syllable, but we do need to release it on the second because this word compound has two stop sounds. The first one is the what we call the velar stop because in the back of the throat we make the sound k, k. Then we also have the bilabial stop sound that's made with a P. So when we shift the stress from to one, compound, compound, we have a st sound, on the, the air comes out on the K. We change that to, to two, compound, then we also release a puff of air, but for the P, for the pound, all right? So you can see, you can see that easily with a piece of paper, but you can't see it so easily just looking at yourself in the mirror. So that's why it's good to know about using the paper to help know and see the puff of air on these stressed um, stop sounds. The ones that are voiceless in English, you release a strong puff of air. So let's review. Can't. Yeah. Comfort. Comfort. Compound. 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 Question. Question. Record. 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 Occur. 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 Recur. Recur. Occurrence. Occurrence. So all of those are stressed on the syllable with cur, right? Occur. All right, how about this? Mechanic. 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 Now pay attention to the difference between mechanic, and you notice that the CH letters make the same sound as a K in this word. They don't sound like CH. In some words, in most words, CH sounds like CH, but in this case, they sound like the letter K. So watch the difference between mechanic, three, two, stress on the second syllable, and mechanism, mechanism, four, one. The second syllable is not stressed. The first syllable is stressed. So watch the K sound. Not so much air, right? Mechanism. 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 But mechanic. 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 Good. Okay. Let's take the next word. Vocabulary. 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 Woo! My paper blows away even. It's like a it's like a kite. <laughs> the kite. Woo! Vocabulary. Are you increasing your vocabulary? Are you increasing your vocabulary? Yes, I'm increasing my vocabulary. Okay, now some of you are saying, I'm increasing my vocabulary. I'm increasing my vocabulary, but not with K. So let's see if you can <sighs> breathe a little bit deeply. <sighs> and don't be afraid to let that breath carry out, okay? So maybe this is a lot breathier in English than in your language. Practice with this. I'm increasing my vocabulary. I'm increasing my vocabulary. 
Show me with your paper. I'm increasing my vocabulary. Very nice. Okay, now let's compare that with words like M-A-K-E with a K at the end. Make, we don't say make. We don't need to let a puff of air come out. We just say make. make. So it's very small, the make. sound at the end. Make. make. All right, good. And when we say the word took, we have a strong T sound t for took. But we don't say took. Right? We don't say that. We have a very small release there. Took. Picked. 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 All right, now how about in this sound, technique? Both syllables end in a k sound. Tech and neek both have k sounds. They have C spelling for the first syllable, CH actually, and then a Q U E for the next syllable. So those are different spelling patterns for the K sound. But because they come at the end of the vowel, after the vowel, then we don't release like technique. That would be too much. Technique. Technique. Just very slight. So my paper can move very slightly. Technique. Technique. I have a T, but not at the end of the K sound, not so strong. Not so strong. Okay. How about the word orchestra? Orchestra. Three syllables stress the first syllable, right? Not the second. Orchestra. Orchestra. Now, let me show you how we do this word. This is orchestra. Orchestra, three, one for the noun. How about the adjective? Do you know the adjective? If we add L to it, well, then we say orchestral. Right, orchestral. Change it to three, two. And we say orchestral. Then we have to have a strong puff of air because we shifted the stress to the second syllable that begins with a k sound. Orchestral music. Orchestral music. So that's three, two. All right, let's listen to the orchestra. We don't have a strong puff of air because the first syllable, not the second syllable, the first syllable is stressed. But when we talk about orchestral music, three, two, the second syllable is stressed and we have to put a strong puff of air on the k, orchestral. orchestral. All right, if we have a word like c-o-n-s-i-s-t, consist, consist has two syllables and it's stressed on the second one. So we don't say consist, we say consist. 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 Mm -hmm. Consist. Mm -hmm. Why do we change the word to a different word like continent? Continent. The North American continent. Continent. See if you stress that word in the first position. That's where the K is, the K sound. We have to say content. Content and continent. Continent. Do you know C O N T E N T? If it's a noun, we say content. 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 Or we can use it as plural. What are the contents of this bottle? What are the contents? What are the contents of that jar? What are the contents of that suitcase? What are the contents of that box? We also have this same word as an adjective. It's not related in meaning, but it tells how you feel. You feel satisfied. You feel content. And then content, stressed on the second syllable. So the k is not strongly released. But what is released? The t of the second syllable. So watch. Content. Content. I feel very content. Are you content? Are you satisfied? Are you content? Are you content? So content, content, and content have a different stress pattern, and also the air is different. We also learned the word liking, to take a liking to something, L-I-K-I-N-G. The K is in the middle, and the stress liking, where's the stress of this two syllable? One. So it's on the L. Well, la is not a stop sign, so we do not need to have any air coming out on that. Liking, liking, liking. Okay, how about napkins? Napkins. 
So napkins, napkins, two syllables stressed on the first one. So the K is not at the beginning of a stressed syllable. Now the next word, of course, we saw this already, the difference between record, 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 that's a noun, and record, 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 that's a verb, right? So let's, uh, you can make a record of something by writing it down. Keep a good record. Maybe you're measuring your blood pressure every day and you want to write what day, what time, and your numbers, and you can write it down and keep a good record, record, right? Or in before we had compact discs, we had a lot of black records, right? Okay, now the verb is record, and the noun is record, record. And remember the name Coco has a stress on the first syllable, but not on the second. So the Coco has a stress puff of air on the first syllable, but not on the second. Coco. Coco's kittens. Coco's kitten. Coco's kitten. Okay, now, do you remember... What happens when we put this sound s, usually spelled with a letter S, just before the sound k, it's like before the sound t. Remember we studied words like tart and start, tart and start. The same thing is true when we have k and we put s in front of it. So we can say car but if we put the S in front of it, for example, maybe you have a cut, and then you have a mark that's left there for many years, then you have a scar. scar. But it's not a scar. It's not a scar. We don't have a puff of air. So when the S or the sound S comes before the stop sound, it sucks up the air. You don't need to let it out. So we say scar. And we say scared. Yeah, are you feeling scared? I went on a scary ride. I scraped my knee. I fell down and I scraped my knee. Scraped my knee. You know what I mean? It means that the skin is damaged on the outside. It's not too serious, but you have a scrape. Scrape. So something sharp or something with a lot of thick friction. For example, the pavement might be very hard and when you move across it you can say it scraped my skin right and I mm -hmm, scrape yeah now what do we call those two what do we call those things that we find on kittens and other animals whiskers 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 all right so we don't put any k sharp puff of air there because whiskers two syllables is stressed on the first and not the second one all right good is that good? So far so good? Okay. Now, in our sound focus too, we also focus on the velar sound, but instead of voiceless k, we have voice g, g, g. So when you put your hand on your throat like I'm doing, can you feel the difference between k, 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 and g, g, g? Can you put your fingers on your throat and feel k, k? Voiceless and g, 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 voiced. K, k, and g, k, 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 g, g, g. Now, remember when we have k, k at the beginning of a stress syllable release a puff of air. When we say g, 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 we don't have a strong puff of air. But listen to the difference. Some languages also have this, but you close your mouth, maybe like in Vietnamese. But in English, you have to keep your mouth open and let a little bit of air out when you say get, 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 guess, guess. I don't know, guess. Games. Play some games. Games. Gave. Gave. Past tense of give is gave, gave, go, go, let's go, 
good. Good job. Good. Very good. Very good. Gorilla. Gorilla. Coco is a gorilla. Together. Together. Notice I'm not saying two. Some of you are saying two. Look at me. What am I saying? Together. To, to, do you see how very weak it is? Look in your mirror now. Take a look at your lips. Because if you say two, you can see this one. If you say to, 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 very light. Together. Let's go together. Let's go together. All right. What is this one? This is a finger. Finger. And these are my fingers. Fingers. Notice that when we say the word finger, we have the sound ng and we have the sound g. So I want you to know it's different from singer. Can you hear the difference? A singer is a person who sings. There's no g in that word. There's a g letter, but there's no g sound. There's a ng sound. Remember we studied ng, m, n, ng sound? Singer, singer. But this is a finger, finger. So how are these words different? Well, we can say a singer is someone who sings, but we cannot say a finger is someone who sings, right? So it's not constructed in the same word. They have different ways these words came about. So this one, although when you look at the word, it looks like same I-N-G-E-R, but the sound is different. So in this word, we say the G sound, finger, 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 fingers. All right, now, when we spell the word language, how many, how many G's are there? Language. L-A-N-G-U-A-G-E. There are two G's in this word. But do we have two G sounds? No. no. We have only one. Which one has the G sound? The first one. All right, so we say lang. We have the ng, ng, ng sound first. Lang. Let's just say the first syllable. Lang. And put your hand here. Feel the ng vibration. Ng. Lang. 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 All right, now the next sound is G and then W. G. G. J. So the last G E sounds like J, the same as judge. Yes. Okay. Language. Language. Okay. Take a look at your lovely lips in the mirror. Hold the mirror in front of you. First, look at me and listen. Then look at your mirror and say it three times. Language. Very good, very good. Okay, G can combine with R for words like grass, grass, grades, grades, great, great, green, green. G can also combine with L. So we have words like glad, glad. Glass. 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 What other words do you know with g and l? Can you tell me tell me Glaze. some other? Glaze. 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 What else? Glow. The light is glow. Glowing. We also have growing. We have glowing. So those are two different words, right? Both of those, g, r, and g, l, occur at the beginnings of syllables. At the end of syllables. When we have a word like big, B-I-G, we have to know that we have to do two things. First, we have to pronounce g g as we're doing g g properly. But even more important, we need to. What else do we need to do with the vowel? Do you remember? Because the g g g is voiced, g g g is voiced. What happens to the vowel? The vowel is longer. So you must be careful. Please don't say big, big, big. Say big, 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 big. Now, you don't know that from spelling.
but you know that from me, right? All right, so remember, sometimes you cannot get this information from looking at the word. And sometimes you cannot get, many times you don't know about it, even if you ask a native speaker. They don't know, they just do it, but they don't understand it. So that's why you're in my class, right? So you learn these tricks of the trade, the things that are like secrets, little secrets of pronunciation. So not big, but big. big. So when the g comes at the end, make sure your vowel is longer. Big. Pig. Pig. Leg. Beg. Flag. Flag. Hug. Hug. Frog. Frog. Dog. Dog. All right, let me see you say a big pig and a big dog. I want a big pig and a big dog. I want a big frog and a big pig. I want a big frog, a big pig, and a big dog. Very good. Now, in our story we had uh, last time, uh, the oak and the reed, we had a word dignified. And when I listened to your recordings, some of you said, tick the fight. And something's wrong with that. Can you tell me what's wrong if you say, tick the fight? <laughs> what's wrong with my pronunciation if I say, tick the fight? <laughs> you don't know? The vowel is too short for the first syllable, so in order to make it longer, how should I say it? Dignified. That's wonderful. Dignified. Can you hear the difference? If I say dignified instead of dignified. Can you hear the difference? All right. Watch me because I'm using my fingers to help pull out my vowel. If you can visualize this, and maybe if you would like to put your mirror down and do this too, like you're pulling the vowel out. If you say dignified, Every syllable is the same like that. It doesn't sound like very good rhythm for me in English. So I want to say dignified. Very nice. That's much better. Much better. All right. Good. 